name is Naomi Hunter and I used to live here when I was little and then I moved and then I'm, I'm back here and when I was little it was fun because I had loads of friends around and I used to go to, to um, Cherry Orchard primary school so it was really inviting and quite warm and loving around this area. I don't know much about how it was um, when I was about five or whatever but um, I live down Victoria Way so I come here to come jam with my friends really and it is quite cool because there's a lot of people here to talk to. Um, my name's Jade, lived here for 14 years. Um, yeah, I can't remember much when I was younger, just a lot of crime happening here, um, people getting into fights, not nice. Um, but ever since Charlton Triangle took over, it's, it's improved. I still don't like living here, but then I'm a teenager, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, like, things to help us, like, so, like, inside of us, really. Like, things like how we feel about certain situations. To help teenagers find themselves more. Because, like, a lot of them are lost and they need help. And a lot of them don't know what they like, want to do in life. So, yeah, people coming in and just talking to us about stuff and doing activities, like group activities. And teaching us about life, like, I don't know, growing up and... Pregnancy and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, like that. that's Tani and that's Ram. I'm 11, he's 4 and she's 9. Um, basically, my mom and dad came here just after the Vietnamese War, I think, in the 1970s. And my mom came over here like about 10 years or 6 or 7 years after my dad. So they had to find a big house because basically um, they might. Uh, my mum thought if they had a big house, we could all live in. And um, I was born in 1998, and then we used to live in a house, but um, a house ne not nearby, but it was like all cold and with spiders inside. So we needed like a bigger house, and um, one that had built-in. Heating, like a built-in heating system. Um, basically, um, his brothers and his sister and his my dad's mum all lived in one house. I, I think, yeah. And then a couple of years later, my mum came over, and basically, uh, they all lived in the house, one house. Um, and when my mum was pregnant, um, me and my, my dad and my mum had to find a bigger house. Mm. I was about three and Tran was about two when we moved in here. Um, my dad uh, works at a local hospital. 1975, after the war in Vietnam, like the government needed money to rebuild Vietnam, like I would say in my own words. And so they took money from the Vietnamese people uh, so like they could build up and so they raised up taxes and fees and stuff and they offed it. So some people were left homeless because they couldn't pay that tax. So, but then they decided to leave Vietnam and go to different countries to look for a new job and stuff. And like for people from North and South Vietnam. In in our state, we got friends that like are from Vietnam, but like from the north side and we're from the south side. And they speak like in a different like, accent. accent. 
and then now we just invite them to come down and play and then we teach each other like what they like how to speak in their accent and what it means and now we just get along with North North Vietnam. And also it's good that we can play with each other and understand each other because that's like important in a community. Hello, my name's Andrew Commence and I'm director of Charlton Triangle Homes. Charlton Triangle Homes took over uh, management of this area following a stock transfer from Greenwich Council in March 1999. Uh, we're perhaps the latest part in a long history of the area and uh, we've undertook a massive refurbishment of the local area, investing over £54 million in changing uh, the existing property, refurbishing over 850 homes with new kitchens and bathrooms, new wiring, bringing them up to a much more modern style and standard. And we've also um, built over 99 brand new homes for local people, many of those houses and some flats as well. One of the things that's worth mentioning, uh, when we demolished uh, East Maskells in June 2007, we demolished the last remaining homes which had bathrooms and kitchens. They still had no bathrooms of their own. So it's quite a, a, a change over a long period. Whilst the improvements to the buildings and the fabric of the buildings has been immensely important, it mustn't be overlooked that the most important thing of all locally is the local people. And we put a lot of uh, effort into our community regeneration activities and we've spent over a million and a half pounds on this in the last 10 years. Uh, in essence, that's providing more opportunities for local people and to develop the local community. And some examples of this are um, our work with the local family centre, providing creche facilities for the under fives. Um, we have a local IT centre in Langhorne House with a whole suite of computers and opportunities for people to learn IT and to undertake courses there. We've also invested a lot of time and effort into working with the local police and improving community safety locally and working with local people to improve their confidence and perception of the area. As well. So we hope that at this point in time, with all the investment and our work with local people, that we're really seeing uh, and contributing to a change in the local community and certainly our part of the community and seeing it on and up at the moment and uh, achieving our mission of creating a community where people want to live again because of the quality of life it offers. Throughout the long history of Charlton, people have been at the heart of local community activities and we are all now playing our part in its continuing story.